everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah. Today I'm going to be showing all 12 of the Princess Sequin Lounge Flight mini backpacks. I have all 12 backpacks. They're all down here. And I have two of the purses as well. I did only get two of the purses. But now that I have them all, I figured I would show them all. Obviously I can't fit all of them in this clip right now. But I figured I would do it in order that they were released as well. Not necessarily the princess's chronological order but just the order that loungefly and loungefly.com loungefly europe and loungefly.com release them so we're starting strong with cinderella cinderella was the first one they are all so I'm looking down here because they're all down there they're all like cosplays of the princesses and their different outfits and i love that they all have very similar details although there is one anomaly but she's the last one so they all have a zip puller that's got something special on there they're all like a cosplay with sequins of their dress hence the sequin collection and they all have something in the bow as well as well as something on the back they've got it all going on so for cinderella she's got the clock in the middle of the bow and the most beautiful blue sequins it's like there's darker blues lighter blues there's some silvery details here and there she's just stunning and the zip puller for cinderella is the glass slipper You've got to have that one. So it's the glass slipper on the little pillow. And she's so, look at the sparkle. The back of this one has bibbidi bobbidi boo. Because what else could you have for Cinderella other than bibbidi bobbidi boo? Now I'm not going to do in depth on all of them just because I have done a video on each one of these anyway. So we'll quickly show them all. We'll do a 360, show the details, and then I'll quickly show the inner lining as well. I won't get all the packaging out just because that would be a lot of packaging but I will show all of their inner linings. I have, which ones have I used? I think I've only used Rapunzel actually. How rude. Uh, I wonder if I could do it this way. So the inner lining for this one, it's like a really light blue, this same kind of light, light blue color. It's got Cinderella's castle, there's the carriage, there's the clock in that beautiful light blue sort of color. So we're starting strong with Cinderella. Now, some of these I'll be able to do in the same clip because I've got all the first ones right in front of me but the others are over there. Next up we have the Little Mermaid, we have Ariel. I really like this one probably has, let me just check, the least amount of sequins on there but she's forgiven because she has the scale detail from her mermaid tail and it works beautifully. So on the bow for Ariel we have Little Flounder and I love how the bow as well looks like seashells. It looks like two seashells together. What's the zip puller? So the zip puller is a dingle hopper. It has to be a dingle hopper for Ariel. She's got beautiful purple sequins all over. And that detailing, the scaling kind of goes all on the sides as well. La la la. This one at the back, oops, it says under the sea. Feel free to sing all the songs if you would like. And it has kind of different coloured purple, so the straps are actually a bit of a darker purple colour. So, we'll start at the front for a 360. Start at the front. But I love this one. I don't think it would have looked the same if she had green sequins on the front. I really like that they did the scaling detail instead. Because it works for her mermaid tail, doesn't it? Here's the lining. So the lining for this one, it's this same kind of lilac-y purple colour. And it has flounder... Sorry, Sebastian, you're not on this one. We have flounder, we have her mermaid tail, we have some seahorses and some seashells as well. Now, I do put the packaging back in the backpacks, as you can see just there, because it just helps them to keep their shape. Because sometimes, it depends on the material, but some of them can be really squishy, so that's why I do put the packaging back inside them. Third up, we have... Aurora and I love that they did her in pink because there is Cinderella in blue and then Jasmine's like a blue sort of colour so I love that they did Aurora in pink I'm gonna if I remember at the end I'm gonna say which one my favourite is I hope that I remember to do that if not editing Hannah's gonna have to do some magic look at this one so the detailing in the bow it's Aurora's crown love that one which actually matches my little princessy ring and it's the most beautiful pink. It's like a very, it's like a dark pink, but it just works because some of the lighter parts here are, are a much lighter pink. So it just works with that. The zip puller on this one is the spinning wheel that she pricks her finger on. 
got to have that detail on. I mean, you don't got to have that detail on there, but it works. And it works with the gold as well, with all the pinks and the golds and the shimmer. And again, more sequins on either side. More beautiful pinks. So you've got the lighter pink for the straps and then a slightly darker pink for the back on the base. What does this one say? This one says, Once Upon a Dream. Let me grab it properly. There we go. So this one says, Once Upon a Dream at the back. So beautiful. 3.60 time. Just look at the shimmer. I mean... If you have or haven't seen my videos before, you'll be able to tell. Sequins are my weakness. So, princess sequins? Even more of a weakness. Next up is the first matching set that I have, meaning backpack and the purse. So I'll show the backpack first, because they're kind of, I mean, they're pretty much the same. If I just hold them up together, you can see it's like the same concept and the same details. So the backpack, I love this bow as well, it's almost like that straw hat sort of material and in the middle of the bow we have the Heart of Tefiti and the most beautiful orange, like a deep orange sort of colour for the sequins and then the beautiful dress detail with some gold sequins on the front just there as well that matches Moana's dress. What's her zip puller? So it's one of the oars for the boats as that zip puller and the side has beautiful orange sequins again, same sort of orange. The straps on this one, the top of the straps, it's like that sort of tan colour, but then underneath the material part is the same dark orange as the back of the backpack. And this one, whoops, this one says follow the stars. There is that one. So the front of the purse matches the top of the backpack and the back of the purse matches the bottom of the backpack. So, I'm just going to pop the purse there. So 360 and then we'll do the inner lining. Now the inner lining will be the same for the backpacks and the purses so I am only going to show it in the backpack. Stunning. Oh, oh I haven't used a lot of them. Sometimes. Oh no, is there paper stuck? Oh no, I think there's some paper stuck in the zip. It's either that or the zip is just a little bit stiff. There we go. Sometimes the zips can be a little bit stiff if you've not used them. So the inner lining for this one, it's like a slightly darker brown colour and then the detailings are the orange colour. So it's the boat, it's the oars that's on the front zip puller and some of the pretty flowers. Let's see if I can hold it just like that. There we go. So that will be the same lining in the purse as well. Oh, that zip is ever so slightly a bit stiff, but that's fine. Next up is the most recent one that I acquired, the one that has complete, oh, excuse, the one that completed the set is Belle. Oh, she's the one that eluded me for the longest, but she is beautiful. And again, the cosplay of the dress. So the bow has the rose up top just there. Now the sequins on the top part are more, much more vibrant, they're like a really bright vibrant sort of yellow compared to the sequins on the bottom that are much more kind of, I wouldn't say pastel yellow, just not as vibrant. But it's Belle's ball gown when she's dancing with the beast and the zip puller for this one is Lumiere. Sorry Cogsworth is not on this one, but we have Lumiere beautiful sequins all over the side. Now the back is the same sort of colour as this sort of yellow, it's more of like a sultry yellow. What's this one say on the back? This one is a smidge harder to read just because it's such light colours, it's not as obvious as some of the others. But it says Enchanted Beauty. Enchanted. So that's on the back at the bottom, just there. So we'll do a 360 and then I will show you the lining for this one. This one feels a little bit more suede than the others. The others haven't really felt like a suede sort of material, but this one does. It feels like it has that suede feeling to it, and on the bow as well, whereas the others, they don't. I just kind of repeated myself, didn't I? Right, the lining for this one, again, it's the yellow. I'll bend that a bit more. So it's the yellow, we have the rose, we have little Lumiere. Sorry, Cogsworth, you're not in this one with that beautiful detailing right in there. You can hear that noise. That's the cat, or one of. 
he's not allowed in the Disney room and there's a cat tree just outside that door so he's probably parkouring across the house he's like let me in next up we have Parker Hunters. this one I feel like this one is so detailed it's unreal so the bow at the top is a blue colour and it's kind of to match the necklace that she wears in the very middle of the bow and the most beautiful kind of deep gold colours for the sequins so stunning and the dress and the zip puller for this one is the compass so beautiful and is it that's this side it has her arm tattoo i love that they've put that detail on so they've got her arm tattoo on that side and there is that side now the back the straps are like a light like a light cream sort of color but then the underneath is that beautiful vibrant blue which matches that bow perfectly back at the bottom says a free spirit for Pocahontas because she is a free spirit. I love this one, it's so detailed. And for this one, the zip pullers, for the rest they're all kind of either silver or gold. This one they've done kind of more of like a brassy tone to it. So we'll do a 360 and then we will check her lining. And then I might need to shimmy these ones. Oh, have I done it in sixes? So I might need to shimmy these six over there and put these six over here because can't reach over there. Inner lining though. So the inner lining for this one, it's the same, like the base colour is the same as these gold sequins and then it's a slightly darker brown colour and it's got the compass, it's got some flowers and some leaves. Oh, I know it's not the best showing the inner lining like that but I really don't want to get all the packaging out of all of them. I mean, for one, that would be a massive faff. You probably don't want to sit there watching me getting all the packaging out. And it would create a mess. So next up, we have Princess Jasmine. She's like a beautiful mix of like a green, a blue and a teal. Such stunning colours. And again, it's like the cosplay of their outfits. So it has her necklace detail all across the front. And the bow for this one is like the necklace that she wears as well. So beautiful. The zip pull, I mean it had to be Genie, didn't it? Or Genie's lamp rather. It had to be the lamp. Because the gold kind of works as well. It's so stunning. Sides have the beautiful sequins. And then on the back, the detailing for this one, it says it's all so magical. And we have carpet. We have carpet on the back of this one. In that gold detailing just there. She's very fancy this one. So 360 time and then inner lining. Let me know as well in the comments, do you have any of the sequin ones? And if you do, which one is your favourite? I need to remember to tell you which one's my favourite at the end. So the inner lining is the same as the lighter kind of teal colour. It's the lamp, it's the, I don't know what those flowers are called, it's carpet. Is it a lotus? A lotus plant, leaf plant? One of the ones that you see bobbing along in, in ponds. I've probably just got that very wrong. But that is the inner lining for Jasmine. If I remember correctly, the the retail price for the backpacks was £80 each and the purses I believe was 40 But I have a feeling at some point a couple of the purses went on sale on Loungefly Europe. I'm not sure about Loungefly.com but on Loungefly Europe I'm sure a couple of them went on sale. Next we have Mulan. She's probably got the... Oh no, maybe not the biggest mix of colours, maybe that's snow. But she has a quite a mix of colours for hers. So on her bow, it's the comb, the little hair comb that she has. And she has a mix of green, but also this beautiful blue sequins with that pink detailing across the front as well. What's her zip puller? So it's like the dragon emblem. That looks a little bit like Mushu. Because why not? Design on you! No, we won't dishonour anybody. So the sides have that beautiful kind of light green colour for the sequins. They are on both sides. And the straps are a, they're a darker green that matches the front detailing and the bow. What's this one say on the back? This one says true to who I am. Oh, it has the same leaves. These same leaves as the inner lining for Jasmine as well. It has those on either side of her. Just there. 360 time. Oops. Don't drop. Let's not drop any of the backpacks, shall we, Hannah? That would not be a good idea, would it? We don't want to be dropping any backpacks. In the time. So 
the inner lining for Mulan. It, oh, this one's like a blue colour. So it matches the blue sequins. So the base is blue. And how they do the diamonds, it's swords. So sword, 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 sword. I hope that made a diamond. So the sword, it's got the hair clip and it's got the little dragon emblem. I'm kind of bend that a bit. There we go. That should do it. So that one is her inner lining. They will also all have the same inner lining in the front pockets as well. I know I haven't shown the front pockets, but you get the idea. Next up, oh, I love this one so much. Tiana is next up. She is just beautiful. This one's based on her end gown when she turns back into a human when she's married Prince Naveen. So the top is a little, fl is it a lily pad? Is it a lily leaf? A lily pad? It's a leaf, it's a pond plant. That's so bad. I'm not good with names of plants or names of colours, as you can probably tell. The zip puller, though, is oh, is one of the musical instruments from the bands. And I love how the dress has like the flower and leaf detailing to it. It's so beautiful. Beautiful green sequins as well, all over the sides, both sides. La la la. And the back. What does this one say? This one says, "Love always finds a way." Even when they're turned into froggies, love always finds a way. I love that. Okay, 360 time. And then again, I will show you the inner lining. I think I've only actually used one of my sequin princesses so far. I'll have to change that, won't I? Right, inner lining for Tiana. It's the leaves, it's the instruments again, and there's leaves and flowers everywhere. Mainly. Oh, there we go. That should show it. And it's the same kind of green colour that they've used for the green sequins on the outside as well. Next up is the last set that I got. So the Rapunzel set. And similar to Moana, the purse, the front of the purse matches the top of the backpack. And the bottom of the purse matches the bottom pocket. Beautiful sequins. I haven't actually used any of the purses yet. But I have used this Langefly backpack. So I'll pop the purse there. The most beautiful purples and pinks you ever did see. The lantern is at the top in the bow. The lantern actually glows in the dark, which gave me a little bit of a shock one of the nights when I had a peek into my room and I thought, why is there something glowing? It's because the lantern glows. Those beautiful purple sequins. I love the detailing as well, like all the flowers going down there and the stitching from her dress. Could you have a Rapunzel backpack without a frying pan as the zip puller? No, you can't. It had to be the frying pan. So the side pocket has like a darker purple sequin compared to more of like a light. This is more of like a purple and pink mixture for this part. So the darker pocket and then the lighter bit a little bit up top. And again, the slightly lighter strap this side, but then the darker purple on the underneath. And this one says, I light my own way, and it has two of the lanterns on there, on the back. Just look at that. She's beautiful. She's stunning. Right, 360 time. Ooh, I don't know if the lantern on the purse glows in the dark as well. It might do. It might do. <laughs> So the inner lining for Rapunzel is the same kind of darker purple lining. We have the lantern, we have the flower, pretty leaves everywhere, and that same kind of this design on there. Open that a little, little bit. There we go. Beautiful purples and pinks. She's stunning. We have two left. We only have two left now. Right, oh, penultimately... We have Merida from Brave. What well, I don't know what sort of colour this is. So I have a couple of greens there. There's the mint green and emerald green. It's closer to the emerald green colour. I oh, probably just, just about can't see that one. It's closer to the emerald green colour, but a couple of shades lighter, I would say. Beautiful, though. With the most gorgeous orange bow to kind of match her hair and one of the wisps in the middle of the bow. And again, the dress detail. And they've done... I love this part. So the zip puller is the bow and arrow. And across the front, it's as though she's holding onto her bow and arrows. With all the arrows in there, in the little holder. 
I just love those extra little designs. It's so nice. Those beautiful shimmery colours. She's beautiful. The back of this one says feeling so brave. And we have two little wisps. We have a wisp either side. They are so sweet. So 360 for this one. I don't know if any of these are still on loungefly.com or loungefly Europe. If anything, it's probably a purse here and there. I have a feeling all the backpacks sold out a while ago now. Lining! So the inner lining for this one is the same kind of orange as the bow. And it's the sword, it's the arrows make the diamond. You know what I'm doing. And, oh, this one is a little bit stiffer. So, oh, it might not come up as well as the others. Hopefully you get the idea just from that. I mean, you could definitely see the orange part. Definitely see the orange part, anyway. Right, next up is the last one. Last but by no means least, but the one that is different. Now, what I'm probably going to do is move some of these in a minute, put them all together, and then do a clip of them all together. She says, Snow White, they did differently from the others. I have slight OCD with certain things. And something that does bug me... The badge placement, all of the other badges are in the middle under the bow, but Snow White's isn't. She's at the bottom just there. It does bug me a little bit. I have seen people online though unstitch it from there and stitch it on up here and it looks perfect. So I don't know if I might have to... I mean, I won't try it myself. I would probably butcher it, but see if I know anyone that could maybe help me with that. But she's undeniably snow white and she's still a stunning backpack it's just because she's part of a series that i do wish that was up there however look at her colors she had to have an apple in the bow you can't have snow white without the apple and those beautiful blue sequins and then the yellow to match her dress and the side detailings it's like the arms of her dress as well with those beautiful details and there's this little blue bird tiny little birdie as the zip puller so beautiful and red for the straps now the back of this one, again, this one doesn't have a quote on the back, so that slight difference, but you can't see it from the back. This one just has the mirror, the magic mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all. So we're 360 and then we'll check the inner lining for this one. And then I am probably going to put them all together, because then I can show them all together. It's going to be a faff, but it's going to be worth it. So, inner lining. No, it's the, it, oh, that's beautiful. It's the same blue. It's like a really deep royal blue. Again, I'm not great with colours, but it's that beautiful blue colour. There's a gooseberry pie in there. There's the little bird. There's the mirror. Apples. Gotta have apples when it's Snow White. So pretty. Okay, I'm now going to have a slight mess. I'll try and get all of them up there together. I forgot that I had the bell purse as well, so I do have bell to match, so I have the set. So here they all are together, in the order that they were released, not in their kind of chronological order of when the princess's films came out. Oh, they're, they're so beautiful all together, aren't they? Look how sparkly they are. But you see what I mean with Snow White has her badge at the bottom, whereas all the others have it just underneath the bow. But they are all absolutely stunning. I feel like I need to get more of the purses now to match, don't I? What do you think? So I know I said I was going to tell you my favourite. However, I can't pick between two. So I'm going to have two favourites. Why not? These two are my favourites. I know that my favourite colour is purple, but there's just something about this Aurora backpack and I can't pick between the two of them. So these two are my favourites from the series let me know in the comments down below if you have any and which one your favorite is but thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye